What's going on dudes, it is Colossalus here, welcome back to another video. Today, uh, I don't have a, it's, it's a little bit different just because I don't have a reason to kind of make this video. I, you know, I don't have a reason to play Brightwing, per se. I just decided to do a write-up on her, uh, up on Heroes Nexus, and I feel like a write-up and a video will complement each other very well. Uh, what I mean by that, some people learn better by reading, others learn better by listening and watching. So you guys will have either or. You can find the link to the write-up in the description below. By the way, thank you guys, every single person who has subscribed to me over the last few days. I mean, I thank, I, you know, and I just appreciate every single sub that has happened ever, but especially the ones that have happened over the last few days. I'm really appreciative of that. Hopefully you guys will stay with me and we'll have some fun together during my streams and my videos. So Brightwing, a very, very viable healer. Um, she has been good ever, basically every, ever since uh, her changes to her Q ability, which made the, uh, the wave clear much better. I'll, I'll be explaining how they changed the Q ability as well when I actually explain it. Um, she uh, she kind of fell off a little bit now just because Malfurion is a little, uh, not a little, but like overpowers as shit. <laughs> and, uh, you know, be, just because there isn't a lot of support heroes, when one of them becomes better, the other ones just fall down. And that's what happened to Brightwing. But she's still super viable. She's still uh, one of the best picks you can pick up in a hero league or any kind of a, a mode, to be honest with you guys. And today I'll be showing you why. Alright boys and girls, we find ourselves on the Cursed Hollow map. Super excited about this game just because I'll be able to show off the build which I actually did a write-up on. Well, I did write-up on two uh, of her builds. One of, one of them kind of fell off the face of the earth just because of the nerf that happened to the build. Uh, but I'll be able to show uh, show the one that is actually displayed on the page of the build. So on level one, we're gonna go for unfurling spray, increasing the range of our healing. Uh, our healing is not on any of our abilities; it is our trait. Every four seconds, we pop this little like area of heal, and we heal enemy uh, not enemies but friendlies uh, by 120 at level one, of course, and then that's gonna increase over time. Uh, every four seconds, basically every everyone in that uh, actually much bigger area now, just because I extended it a level one, is going to get healed by that amount. Super, super good. Super, super amazing. And so, yeah, her Q ability is what was changed. It is a very good wave clear now. Uh, it's called Arcane Flare. And what it does, it does shit ton of damage in this little circle in the middle. And then, like, medium damage on, on the outer circle. So, you, you see, I'm gonna pop it right here on the on the back minions there. You can see that the ones in the middle took quite a, quite a lot of damage. And the, the other ones, you know, took quite a little damage. And so, that's our Arc Arcane Flare. So, what was changed? Basically, the damage inside of that little circle was buffed. And that's what was changed about it. That's what made Brightwing such a, such a superior wave clear to other uh, support heroes. Polymorph is our W ability. What it does, it turns um, turns an enemy hero into a pig, uh, or a, or a sheep, or anything you know that kind of like resembles an animal, <laughs> and basically silences them for 1.25 seconds. Um, basically, not allowing him to cast any abilities, you know, any escapes, anything like that. Super, super good for like uh, against Illidan, just because if he can't cast any abilities or attack. He's dead. Like he cannot, you know, regenerate health. He cannot uh, get get out of the fight. He just dies in almost instantly. And our E ability is what we just gave there to Asmodan. What it what it does, it gives him a little bit of movement speed and it also gives him block stacks. So what I'm gonna do is I should have expected that. Uh, I'm gonna try to stay near my Asmodan to give him some some passive healing with my trait. That's the real Nova right there. <clears throat> yeah, so what it, what it does, it gives uh, my target ally um, block stacks and also gives them movement speed so they, they can get out of there quicker and also um, 
in the later stage of the game, we will be improving it with some later times. So for example, now we're going to be picking up Manic Pixie. When we heal somebody who has our um, Pixie Dust, our E ability, which is what we just explained there, uh, on them, they're going to get some healing over time. I'm going to go to the middle lane with my Z ability, which is called Teleport, I think. Face Shift, sorry, Face Shift. Apparently, I just don't know anything about this character. Um, even though I played her enough. So there's the polymorph that's gonna uh, basically allow, basically I'm going to slow down the enemy uh, Alarak and not allow him to uh, move as quickly. And we need to be careful about this. I've got 16 seconds on my face shift. I'm gonna let uh, yeah, tell Alarak is right there. So here is the um, pixie dust on on that on our friendly Alarak. There's a kill on the enemy Alarak. Now we'll be able to move in here just because we have numbers advantage. Uh, yeah, she's somewhere right there. So I'm gonna give him to give him to that. You, you can see that he gets a little bit healing over time right there. Uh, that's the real Nova. I'm gonna pull him more of her. I'm gonna try to time it just because. Uh, the the boost of speed only uh, only um, only lasts for two seconds, whereas this is four seconds, and we have to hit somebody. Um, come on, guys, you have to zone for me. It's gonna be taken out, but hopefully. We just saved that um, Chromie. So we're gonna wait up until... Uh, she, she basically can just stay next to us and just get healed um, just passively. Fucking Nova. Somebody grab this. On this range I'm gonna go for Mystified. We just the cooldown of my trait when I use abilities. For example on that Nova. Like, we won't be able to get this if we do not focus our targets, and now we actually might all get killed. I'm gonna give my, um, give my uh, face shift, not face shift, but uh, uh, Manic Pixie, Pixie Dust, to my Asmana, but he just, he's not gonna make, uh, he's go not going to make any kind of um, movement uh, to get out. I'm gonna uh, pull him more. Why did she just walk the, the, that way? That's just probably gonna cost me my life. No, I'm fine. I don't know, it's certain bugs like that just, just get me. Anyway, let's get onto the positive note there. I'm gonna give my um, Pixie Dust to my uh, to my Lee Ming there. That's gonna secure her living. And we're gonna move in here. The enemy team, by the way, pick that up. And so, it's gonna be fine. We're gonna give him some additional hearing with a Monic Pixie Talent. On level seven, we picked up Mystified again. That's gonna reduce the cooldown of our trait whenever we use an ability. Super, super useful for um, just you know staying um, staying as a relevant healer uh, allows us to pump out a little bit more heals. Going to my friend, watch out because he's just going way too deep. It's way too deep right there. Um, the XP is much more important than any of the camps are at the moment. Um, if we go Emerald Wind or Blink Heal, I feel like Blink Heal is going to be better. I'm just going to go Emerald Wind. I'm actually going to use it here to peel for our friendly Alarak. That was just dust enough to secure his uh, his living. Holy shit, that plays are real in this moment. Oh, mother... F oh, my God. We... I just saved both of us. I just saved both of us. That Chromie is dead, by the way. Uh, I, there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, I'm gonna try to save our Li Ming. 
there the polymorph is gonna go, is gonna allow us to get some more damage onto that enemy alarak but they will be getting that tribute no problem just because Asmodan didn't didn't come up to us in time i'm gonna teleport here to the friendly alarak give him some um some of the block stacks and the movement speed so he can get out of there if he needs to and looks like the enemy team just tries to pick this up but we are just denying them all that all the time i mean but we need some focus at the end we need some focus at the end um So there we go, that, that, that's going to secure a kill on the enemy Greymane. I've actually just split Greymane from um, the the entirety of the enemy team, which allowed us to secure a kill. I think that's going to be kill on the enemies as well, but we do pick up a kill on the enemy Nova here. Uh, maybe... There we go, there's a kill on the enemy Alarak. I'm gonna try to get that, but of course Nova's gonna be poking at me. I think she just killed herself by, by actually poking at me. No, that Alarak actually missed her, missed his uh, uh, Discord strike or whatever it's called. I'm gonna go back just because our teleport is on is off cooldown, so I'll be able to teleport to whoever I please to whenever um, you know. I'm basically gonna regenerate my mana and just teleport back to whoever needs me the most. I'm gonna go back. To, I'm gonna go to Chromie. Um just because she's not a strong solo laner. Might even uh, help her to push this a little bit in. Into our service. I'm gonna go and help Alarak. Of course, I won't be the fastest at rotating, but I can kind of, you know, uh, aid this by giving myself the pixie dust and just getting there a little bit quicker. Chromie not rotating too safely uh, is going to be taken out. I can see, you know, my healing is not the worst right now. Like, I'm basically healing for a lot. Um, uh, I was able to sustain Alarak through this camp, and, you know, if he, if he chooses to stay, uh, you know, stay with me here, um, he, you know, you can see that he's just constantly getting some health back, so that's, that's awesome. By the way, we pick up Emerald Wind, which what it does, it, it, it gives, um, like, it kind of gives off that kind of Nova of air that pushes people away. Um, and and also what it does, they also they actually buffed it in in sense. Um, what it does, it also gives me uh, some uh, some percentage of, of uh, like additional healing with my trait. And there's a polymorph on the enemy um, Jaina. I'm gonna actually try to peel here for my friendly team. I was actually silenced in the middle of of casting my my ultimate, and looks like. No, it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna give this to our friend Alarak. So if, some, if anybody decides to use any abilities on him, I just picked up Shield Dust, by the way, um, which basically reduces the damage taken for those two seconds by from any abilities by two seconds, uh, by forty percent. What am I talking about? So you can see how I'm still used to the load build, where you know where I would give like shields with my um, with my Z. By the way, that does the other build I'll be I'll be speaking about uh, in at the end of the video. Um, our Alarak is fine. Like I can basically out sustain uh, whatever the the enemy team is throwing at us. We have to pick this up, and we at least we have to at least somehow um, contest this, just because the enemy team only needs uh, one more. I'm trying to basically save everybody, and I can't. And there's a kill. There's Li Ming. She should be pretty good. There we go. I should give myself the money, the the pixie dust right there. All right, it's fine. It's fine. Just leave her. Just let her be. Can get this. Give him some more additional healing. There you go. You can see how much. Just how much. I can heal just chunks of health just coming back to my friendlies whenever I'm um, just next to them. Uh, Nova picking up that camp, not gonna be too much of a big deal. We'll probably be dealt with by the towers themselves. I'm just gonna stay here and protect my allies. What you should do. I'm gonna preserve my mana but not by not using any of these abilities and only use them when I actually need to. So I'm gonna give it right there to the friendly Asmodan to give him some additional healing. 
Um, if he desires so, if he dives, there we go, which he does, I can polymorph him so he cannot deal any more damage to us and we will just be able to disengage quite safely. Bouncy Dust will be my choice for level 16, basically bouncing to a nearby target um, of, my, um, of, my manic of my Pixie Dust. Uh, that was not a good engage, the Alarak stayed in that. That could, that could be a kill. I'm gonna actually polymorph him so he cannot uh, uh, do any any you know, any more shields. Oh, trying to pick up a kill here. We are not able to do any of that. I'm gonna use my um, use my heroic here to save our friendly Asmodan, hopefully. There we go. There's a kill. That's very good. And you can see how I saved him, split him away from my friendly team. And um, was able to secure his living, but also Greyman, who was very, very hungry for that kill, that dove us, and died for that as well. So that's what really Emerald Wind is good for. I mean, she has also the other, the other heroic, which is a Blink Heal, which is good for displacement. You know, you, you're good at basically teleporting around the map. I'm gonna actually teleport to our friendly Chromie here, but the enemy team does pick that up, and they will be, they will be the, the, the owners of the first curse. <laughs> This is, a, this is an okay choice uh, because the enemy team is not pushing too hard at the moment and um, so it's a good choice to pick this camp so it actually helps us to push away the uh, the enemy minions and we should be able to pick this up quite nicely uh, there we go and the enemy sorry the friendly chromie is a little bit of trouble upstairs but I think she'll be able to get away just fine yeah she should be able to get away just fine uh, it looks like Enemy Nova is, uh, has picked that camp again with her talent. Friendly Alarak and a little bit of a pickle here. I'm gonna actually try to face shift right on top of him. Not sure if I'll be there in time. Yes, I am. Oh, but I won't be able to do anything to that Nova damage. I did give him my uh, my, my, my pixie dust, but that wasn't enough to uh, of damage nullification. Um, so here I'm just going to save my friendly Li Ming from the damage from Alarak. Um, but now here comes the Nova, here comes the light show. Here's the Polymorph on the enemy Nova. The silence on the Li Ming is not going to allow her to do any abilities, but looks like actually <laughs> the enemy Alarak saves me from uh, from the snipe damage. And we will be fine. We are going to be fine. On my way to this Asmodan to help him push this back a little bit. So you can see, Brightwing is the master of AoE healing. Uh, she, as long as she stays close to her targets, she's going to be fine. Uh, I, this Li Meng was a little bit overextended, so I just gave, gave her that preemptively. I gave her that pixie dust uh, preemptively. Uh, not wise, Li Meng, to do that against you know, 1v1 against Nova. I mean, sure, probably Li Meng will, will probably win. But again, it's, it seems seems pretty disgusting to do so like pretty you know, unsafe to do so just one view what we were trying to one view one the Nova it just doesn't make sense uh, friendly Asmodan in a in a really bad position I'm gonna give him um, the, the pixie dust so he can get out of there quicker it looks like that would actually secure his living maybe what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and do this and it looks like it won't be enough like he just takes the Wildest fucking route to the battle. We did some. We did a little bit of damage, to be honest with you guys. Uh, Chromie was there all that time, dealing a little bit of damage from from a distance. But again, we weren't able to save our Asmodan. It comes a little bit of reduction on that. Pretty good. Pretty good. I have nothing. I have nothing. I can polymorph this enemy uh, Alaric, but I wasn't. Uh, my E didn't come off. Uh, come off of cooldown in time. And it looks like I won't be able to to keep our, our, our archive. Now we might be able to pick up a kill here. Oh, I might be actually dead. No, I'm fine. No. Greyman comes from nowhere and kills us. We didn't see him rotate around. I mean, I, I didn't look at my map, so that was my fault. We are still ahead in XP just because of Asmodan split pushing. What's this? The entirety of the enemy team is pretty low. So you can see, my healing is just superior to it. I mean, Tastar is not, you know, the best healer in the game, but he does he does have some other attackers, in, you know, in this in this game, like Greymane, like Nova can they can deal some pretty disgusting, you know, um, like damage. Uh, now here might be we might have a double kill if he actually gets gets the dunk off. 
But he actually, he actually misses the dunk of, uh, he actually misses the dunk, and he won't be able to kill that Gina. Um, he can definitely try to. There we go. Try to delay that uh, the capture. There goes Alarak. Alarak versus Alarak. I would pay to see that shit all day. Revitalizing Mist is going to be my level 20. I'm going to actually try to port here on this friendly. Um, uh, Asmodan. My my brain just farted right there. Asmodan. And give him some uh, some additional healing. What this Revitalizing Mist does gives my Soothing Mist stacks. So basically, the more I heal somebody, the more stacks of healing they'll be getting. That's actually a very bad. Uh, Position to be to, to, for, for, for our Alrak to be in. I'm gonna actually pull them more of that. Um, uh, pull them more of the enemy um, uh, Greymane Mane and block him, body block him in place so he cannot leave that little choke point. Now I'm gonna try to block any shots incoming. Yeah, he should back up and Li Ming should be the one uh, catching this up. God damn it, those shields just saved her. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna pick that up probably. Just stay around me I'll be, and I'll be able to heal you. Oh my god, stay around me, I'll be able to heal you. Right, you, you can see how much how much more healing I'm able to do. So he, she's at 3 stacks, I'm healing her for 500 as, as, uh, as every 4 seconds right now. That was weird. <laughs> um, so you can see how much, just how much healing I can do with a fully stacked up Revitalizing Mist. I laugh at people who pick up uh, the Storm Shield on Brightwing just because you have a much better Storm Shield um, with your, um, you know, with your level 20 talent with Revitalizing Mist. And it's not pr damage prevention, it's actual healing you're doing. I'm gonna actually teleport up here to our friendly crumb because she feels very, very defenseless against the uh, potential enemy uh, Nova and Alarak uh, onslaught. Looks like she'll be fine in doing so. I'm just gonna take away that um, vision from the enemy team, and I'm gonna try to rotate bottom to rejoin with my Li Ming and Alarak. Here comes the uh, the strats from the enemy team. You know, basically capturing um, capturing the uh, the bruisers where the where, when the curse goes live. Just just to kind of push back the uh, the enemy minions. Very, 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 um, you know, um, uh, popular strat. Just back, just back. There's no reason to do that. Oh my god. Why do you even do such things? We are able to, we are able to pick up a double kill. Here comes the charge from the friendly Alarak going super deep. And I will be able to keep him alive with my healing, even though he was just almost slaughtered by the friendly team. I'm, I'm not taking all the credit, but I'm definitely taking some of it. Um, here is the enemy Jaina. I will pull him more of her once she's out for net for her not to allow you know, give him the boost of speed just so just so they can just so they can um, <laughs> chase him much more efficiently and now we should be able to do this boss. I'm actually I actually agree with the boss very very much. Uh, I will be able to um, to heal him quite efficiently but it's every four seconds so he should he should still be careful. Uh, well, uh, I wonder how much I can I can heal him. Yeah, 442 per four seconds. That's just crazy. Our uh, while we were while we were just you know picking up the, uh, just casually picking up that boss, um, our uh, camp was just just going ham at the enemy's um, core, and it looks like the enemy core stands at 30 percent right as we speak, and that should be actually a pretty good game. So what I said was actually true. I was able to go very very ham. With the heals and kind of damage prevention on this team, where, where I was able to you know give a lot of block stacks and a lot of uh, you know uh, shield um, you know spell shield to my friendly team with my E, 
Uh, Greyman there in a little bit of a pickle, but the enemy team not able to push off our friendly boss. And it is going to finish the game. Victory. And that's it. That's Brightwing. Hopefully that wasn't too bad of an explanation. Brightwing for the MVP. I just cannot... I just cannot not post this to YouTube. YouTube Material 101. We're gonna give ourselves just because we're gonna applaud ourselves for being the best Brightwing you. We get a second vote, we get a third vote. Let's get some more votes, boys. Alright, oh, gets another vote. And that is all she wrote. So hopefully this kind of explains to you how to play Brightwing. I'm gonna go over the two bills that were the most prominent and are still the most prominent, even though the second one is a little bit less uh, popular at the moment just because of the nerfs that happened. Uh, we finished with 90% with 90,000 healing mm, Respectable hero damage and respectable siege damage for the support uh, 22 assists. We were part of most of our friendly team's kills and we only died one time and that's all Because of our level 10 uh, 10 talent that we picked up Excuse me, right? So we're gonna go over talents again over those two bills I told you guys about. So one, it's unfurling spray. So that's the one actually we went for at uh, at that, and I call at, in the uh, at, in that game, and I call it the full healing brightwing because you, you just focus on healing and just supporting your friendly team. In you know, it's not even just a single single target heal, but it's just you know giving love to everybody around you. So you go for unfurling spray on level tw on level twenty, no, on level one. Um, Increasing the range of your trait healing by 20%. If you're good at positioning, this is not a good choice. You should probably go for Pixie Charm or, or Hyper Shift. Dream Shot is another good option, but probably Pixie Charm or Hyper Shift. Uh, but because I wanted to showcase this off to people who do not normally play Browning, you know? They want, to they want to pick her up just because they saw this video and it was awesome. <laughs> um, if you're not the best at positioning, you know, it's not a crime. Like, I'm not the best at positioning. That's why I, I, I always pick up. Not always, but most of the time I pick up on Furling Spray. Just because I don't want to worry about my positioning that much. You know, I, even though I'm a little bit farther to my friendlies, I still want to be able to heal them. That's why I pick up on Furling Spray. That just allows me to not be as close to them, um, uh, you know, basically, and worry about my positioning. I can just be a little bit further and worry less about my, about my positioning. Level 4, I went for the Manic Pixie. Uh, what it does, it basically gives gives them almost 100% more healing, but that healing comes over time. And that's mostly good, just because uh, Brightwing exhales at not in team fight healing, but you know a little bit like regeneration in after team fight or in between team fights. Um, so giving giving them that you know additional almost 100% heal. So you heal for 120, and then you give them that almost 120 heal for you know over four second period, which is not even that long if you think about it. Um, super good for for just a full healing build. Level seven we went for mystified, even though cleanse was uh, another good choice, but the enemy team didn't have any hard crowd control. The only thing they had was a root from Jane. I was like, yeah, sure, but I can out heal that all day. You know what I mean? I can out heal that Ring of Frost all day, every day. So I was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna do Mystified. And for every single basic basic ability that I use, I'm gonna cut the cooldown of my trait by 0.5 seconds, just allowing me to pump out more damage more consistently. On level 10, I went for Emerald Wind, which saved, which you guys saw, makes plays and saves a, a, you know a bunch of friendlies almost every single game. Um, if somebody's getting focused down, fly. You know, the only thing you you, ha you actually have to put yourself in the risk and also fly next to the enemy, and then press your R and kind of you know not be interrupted. But it's it's a it, like it's a very very good uh, ability for peeling for your friendly team. It kind of takes the pressure away from your tank as well, just just because now the the healer can also peel for you know for your friendly backline. Very good against uh, hard engage. Very good against um, and also very good for healing, just because it also gives you passive additional healing from your soothing mist. Uh, it's only eight percent, but actually adds up at the end, especially when you pick up revitalizing mist at the end. 
On level 13, we went for the Shield Dust, which, you know, against the enemy Jaina and enemy Nova Snipes and, and her Precision Strike, it was just super good, just, just, just because it's f when somebody has Pixie Dust on them, on them, for that two seconds, all the damage they take from abilities is cut, but, you know, is cut um, by 40%. So, basically, let's say the Nova does 1,000 a, a damage, 400 of that is going to get, you know, cut away. Because of my, uh, because of the ability shield that I gave to my friendlies by just clicking E, and then to kind of make that even better, to synergize with level four and level thirteen, we pick up bouncy dust, which what it does, it when you bounce to somebody, it also bounces to the nearby friendly, which also can be you, granting you more healing and granting you know that friendly or yourself a shield, you know, an, an ability shield, also giving you, uh, you know. Uh, a spell shield or whatever it's called so that's super super good and when you can mitigate damage in that way and then at level 20 further increase your healing it becomes almost uh, like impossible to kill a team which is sustained by brightwing healing another hero with soothing mist increases the healing you received from soothing mist by 25 percent for six seconds and by the way, this gets refreshed every single time, and this stacks up to three times. So you'll be healing for 75% more every time. So let's say you're healing for 120, then you, uh, for the next one, you uh, add the 25% the of that, the, you know, the fourth, which, which the fourth of that, which would be 30. So you, now you're healing for 150, and now you're taking you know, a fourth of that and you're adding on top of that. And at the end, it just adds up to be so much healing that you saw almost every single uh, wave I was healing. Uh, when, some, when someone was at full stacks, a full three stacks of my Revitalizing Mist, I was healing them for almost a full 500 every single four seconds. That's just crazy. It's just crazy how much healing that is. So I just laugh at people who pick up Storm Shield, uh, who pick up, you know, Unstable Anomaly. Of course, if you have a double support, you don't have to go for Manic Pixie. You can go for Unstable Anomaly or Arcane Barge. I, I, I sometimes go for Arcane Barge. It's actually pretty cool to, uh, to do. But um, let's go over the, the other build that, you know, I didn't have the chance to show you guys, but um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you a little bit about right now. So on level one, you go for Hyper Shift, which every single allied hero you heal with your trait will reduce the cooldown of your face shift, which is your Z ability. Then level 4, I think you still pick up Manic Pixie, but for, but for purpose of this, we're gonna go for Peekaboo. A face shift to, a, to an ally reveals a large area around them uh, uh, and all enemies in it for 6 seconds. So for that game, that would have been good, just because uh, uh, sorry, enemy Nova was around us all the time. Which, you know, which makes this reveal her and also uh, set us up for potential kills, if you, if you see what I mean. On level 7, I would have went for Face Shield, which target gets a shield upon arrival. So this used to be super strong because this used to be 20 seconds for, for a shield and it was also a much stronger shield. That's why this kind of build kind of faced off just because it's a much, much, shorter, much shorter shield now much shorter duration and it's actually it's also uh, about 30 percent smaller than it used to be um so again i would have you know i would have reduced the cooldown of my z you know by healing my allies and then kind of maybe if we had like illidan or somebody who dives really really deep like butcher i would have face shifted on top of him before he engaged you know to give him that additional health that he needs and then he would have been able to engage and mitigate a little bit of damage that's that you know that's coming his way Level 10, I would have picked up probably Blink Heal or Emerald Wind. It all depends on the, you know, on the situation. There we go, that's the word. <laughs> situation. And, um, yeah, I mean, Blink Heal is always good. Uh, Emerald Wind is good against, you know, like Hard Gauge. Like, they, they had quite a lot of melees. Like, and also they had a close range heroes. Like, Nova is a close range hero. Like, Jane is a close range hero. Like, because she, uh, if she doesn't spec for any of her abilities, her range is pretty limited. So, Emerald Wind would have been good just to push her away, just to out, out of range. Blink Hill would be good if they had a lot of artillery heroes, so I could blink to somebody and provide them healing. By the way, this teleports to an ally and gives them a, a little bit of healing. On level 13, I would have probably picked up the Ice Block or the Shield Dust. So these two are probably the, the best 
um, the best possible. Sticky flare, I used to use that, but it's kind of meh. It's kind of phased out just because forty percent is not enough anymore. So shield blast or ice block is just much better. Ice block against something like a pyro blast, like a triple tap, or even if a precision strike. You know, it's 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 all good for that. For any hard engage, it's also good. But shield dust in that game was super huge just because of you know again Jaina and, and Nova and all the other guys. On level 16 I went, I would have probably went for crit rise on that level range just because um, only shield dust I don't think it's enough to justify bouncy dust so crit rise uh, or greater polymorph again greater polymorph extends the duration of our polymorph basically silencing the, peop the person who's engaging or crit rise would have been able to just make uh, you know just make them basically punish them for what whenever they're actually engaging when they engage when they engage hard you 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 pull them off them and they take additional damage for that uh, amount of time that's just crazy like Elden dives in and he just melted like that uh, it's crazy sometimes and level twenty uh, I think I would have went for revitalizing mist again. Because just because it's so good, uh, even without you know the the level four talent, even without the manic pixie, and even without the mystified, this is still an amazing talent to pick up a level twenty. So that's bribing. Hopefully that was uh, insightful enough for you guys. I if you guys give me enough comments and likes on this video, what I'm gonna do? I'm I'm gonna make another video of Brightwing showcasing her other build, which is you know which is the shields build. So again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Go check out the write-up that I did on Heroes Nexus. There's going to be a link to that in the descriptions below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you really enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I think I've already said that. Peace on the motherfucking streets. Bye.